We now turn to our weekly segment featuring a TikTok influencer. TikTok, which was the internet's most visited site in 2021, has really provided us some amazing stories. And tonight, it's for a great cause. Joining us now is Demi Skipper, better known to her 5 million TikTok followers as the woman who mastered trading up a single hairpin. Wait, I have one right here. Something just like this. All the way to a house. So let's take a look. For the last year and a half, I've been on a quest to trade a single bobby pin up until I get to a house. After 28 trades and all the ups and downs, I finally did it. Okay, <laughs> we're walking up to it. This feels so surreal. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's hard to believe. Demi, thank you so much for joining us tonight. First of all, congratulations on your beautiful thank new you. home in Tennessee. You have to admit, this is quite an unconventional story on how to become a homeowner. So first of all, how did you get into trading? And sort of tell us why you started off specifically with a hairpin. Yeah, so in May of 2020, I think like a lot of us, I was sitting at my house watching a lot more TV than I should, and I came across a YouTube video about a guy that had done just this, but with a red paper clip. And so immediately I start Googling, has anyone else ever done this? Because it was 20 years ago. And surprisingly, no one had. So I looked around my own house and thought, what do I have a lot of? I buy them in packs of 100, and I found a single bobby pin, and I was like, this is going to be a house someday. Wow, buy them in packs of 100, I hear you. So walk us through this trading process. I read that you were sort of waking up early in the morning, you were jumping on several sites, asking people to trade with you. How much of your life did you spend doing this? So much. I mean, I work a full-time job, so my nine to five is just working a normal job, and then like 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., and then late into the night, I'm working on trades. So even in the last week, I've been waking up being like, okay, what trade do I need? And then I'm like, wait, I have the house. We're good. I don't need to be looking for anything right now. <laughs> yeah, hard to settle down. Was the goal here always to get a house? And in order to get there, what was your most challenging trade? Yeah, it was always the house. So when I saw the guy 20 years ago who had done it, he had done it to a house. And honestly, I just was like, is it possible? Can I prove, like, it's such a wild thing to trade something so small for something so big that I thought, let's make it the smallest thing I can find all the way to the biggest thing I can think of. Um, I think the hardest thing, honestly, every single trade was different, but there was a couple trades which involved borders. So getting something from Canada into the US, which caused a lot of problems during COVID, or cars, trying to figure out how to get a car across the country, given the pandemic. So there were a lot of challenges that I felt like took me months to figure out, but we always ended up figuring them out. There you are driving a tractor. I'm not sure if you yeah. had that in mind. <laughs> yep, never, never in a million years. And, and you mentioned the cars here. I mean, you had a few of these luxury trades. You had a MacBook Pro, a Peloton, not just one car, you had four. There was a tiny cabin on wheels. I mean, you could have counted that as a house. What, was there one that you thought, I wish I had kept that? Oh, definitely. I don't have a car of my own. I, I just don't own a car. And so many yeah. of the cars, there were four in total that I traded over the course of the 28 trades. A couple times I was like, man, you know, I could keep this car. This could be really great. But I knew that I had to keep going for the house. Oh, good for you. And finally, the house that you traded for, you're renovating. You plan to find a deserving person to trade it back to for yet another hairpin. So when you started off, was that always the goal there to do something good? And did people you were trading with know that you had this altruistic plan? You know, it really, I, I think the goal was to try and figure out originally if it was possible. And then as mm -hmm. I sort of like built this following and heard from people and started trading with people all around the US, honestly, so many people were asking, how do you, how do I do this? How can I get my own house? I have this dream. And so at that point, I think like halfway through, I was like, this isn't for me. I'm proving it's possible, but there is someone out there that really, really needs this house. And as I kept going, I felt even better and even better about being able to give this house away. It feels even better to be able to give it to somebody else, honestly, and then start the whole journey again. Oh, I love to hear that. And you are going to do it again, right? Yeah, absolutely. That, that house is going to get traded for a bobby pin, and then we're going again. Oh, we can't wait to follow your journey. Demi, we appreciate you joining us and sharing your story. Thank you so much, and happy holidays.
Well, thank you so much for having me. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.